Hey, this is Todd and you're watching Real Space Junk. Today I thought I'd have some fun with some of these uh, IC chips. These are Sylvania SF53s, which are JK flip-flops. I have a um, pretty substantial number of these. Uh, they also have them in these uh, dip packages, the dual inline pins, um, but I'm going to play with one of these that are in the flat pack today. I think I'm going to try to decap it, see uh, what it looks like underneath. The technical info about these Sylvania SF-53s I pulled from the 1966 NASA Microelectronic Device Data Handbook. It's available online in NASA's document catalog. Here's a better look at some of these uh, Sylvania SF-53 flat packs. You can see they're in Sylvania packages you see how they're done these are actually not soldered in they are welded so they are free of solder pretty cool little package here i'm not sure how these were used might have just been tested in these not really sure you can tell by these that some are used and some aren't these have been soldered to on the outside so i guess they were just used for some sort of testing Since the pins on these are welded on, I wasn't able to use a soldering iron to get them loose. Fortunately, with some gentle, even force, the pins popped right off without damaging the circuit or breaking any of the pins. I spent about 45 seconds heating up the IC with the heat gun. It's super loud, so I cut most of it out. The top of the chip's adhesive actually melted pretty well, and the only real trick was grabbing it evenly to pull it off. Here's a look at the SF-53 with the cap off. As you can see, the um, cap came off cleanly, and it's just some adhesive on there. You need to get heated up first before it popped off. And here's the microscopic view of this TTL chip from 1965. Thanks for watching Real Space Junk. If you could take a second to subscribe to my channel and like this video, and I will get back with some more interesting stuff later. Thanks.